Should you be farming familiars in MapleStory? Well, in today's video, we are going to talk about how long familiars actually take. Should you be farming EXP or should you be farming familiars? This video is going to answer all of those questions. First off, let's just talk about how long it actually takes to get boss familiars. We're going to keep this linear, so we're going to assume that you get 350 common familiars per WAP and 50 blue familiars per WAP. A WAP equals a wealth acquisition potion, pretty much a two hour time span. Assuming you get 450 total fam points per WAP, this is the total amount of time it takes to get familiars. First, let's talk about epic familiars. A 20% epic familiar is going to take you 194 epics, 21,837 fam points, which is going to equal 48 WAP. Now, an epic 30% boss fam is going to cost you 678 epics, 76,329 fam points, which is going to equate to 169 WAPs. Now, let's move on to unique familiars. A 20% boss unique familiar is going to take you 55 uniques, which is 14,417 fam points, which is going to equal 32 WAPs. Not too bad. A 30% unique boss fam is going to take you 170 uniques, which is 44,468 fam points, which is going to equate to 100. Wops. Now a 40% boss fam that so many people want to go for and think they're gonna hit is going to equal 651 uniques, 171,065 familiar points, which is going to equal a whopping 380 Wops. Most people are going to want three 30% boss fams because that is quote unquote finished. That is around 600 hours of farming. And that's if you hit the average, which hitting the average in this game, from my experience, has been extremely, extremely lucky. Now, I know there's some people in the chat that think, hey, I want to hit 120 boss. I want to hit three 40% boss fams. Three 40% boss fams is going to equal 1,000. 140 WAPs. That is 2,280 hours. You would have to farm for 95 days straight. 24 hours a day to hit the average on 120% boss fam. So that's my argument on why you shouldn't be farming fams. I think fams are a complete waste of time right now, especially since we do have legacy EXP right now. If you guys are unfamiliar in new age, which is going to be happening in about a month and a half, the EXP is actually getting reduced. So right now is a perfect time to farm levels. The content moving forward is going to be level gated and sacred force gated. You unlock sacred symbols by being certain levels 260 270 275 280 and 285 moving forward now the earlier you get these symbols the earlier you can do the bosses which i would argue is the main reason why people are getting these boss familiars so they do more damage in bosses but the funny thing about that is if you have no sack and no levels these boss familiars aren't doing anything so levels and sacred force are always more important when thinking about the newer and game content now let's talk about exp real quick level 260 to 270 you're getting around 22 percent a wop we're gonna round that down to 20 percent to make this a little easier each level equals five wops level 260 to 270 is going to equal 50 wops now 270 to 275 is 11 percent a wop we're just gonna round it down to 10 percent to make this easier each level is 10 wops so 270 to 275 is going to equal once again 50 wops now 275 to 2 80 is going to equal 6% a WAP. We're going to round that to 5%. Each level is around 20 WAPs. 275 to 280 is around 100 WAPs. Now, the total WAPs it takes for you to go from 260 to 280 equals 200 WAPs. Now, being at 280 is very important because you unlock the two new symbols, Shangri-La and Arteria. Now, what does 200 WAPs get you if you were to grief your EXP and farm in Limina? Well, that would not even get you a single 40% boss fam, but that will get you two 30% boss fams. Now, obviously, the choice is yours whether or not you want to go and farm fams. Once again, this is a video game, so it doesn't really matter how you play. You don't have to be 
100% optimal. If you enjoy FAMS, you enjoy the system, and you want to hit those 30%, maybe luck out, hit the 40%, by all means, go farm FAMS. If this is something that you like doing, go and do it. I'm just kind of throwing out the numbers so you guys actually know what you're getting yourself into before you start farming FAMS and think, oh, this is free. I think a lot of people start farming familiars in this game, and they don't really realize the averages of how long it actually takes to hit a 30% boss FAM or a 40% boss FAM. Yes, you're always going to see people that are extremely lucky and there's going to be people who are 250 who have 30% boss fans 40% boss fans but unfortunately that is not that common now maybe after watching this video your decision on whether or not you're going to farm familiars has changed and another reason why i just really never recommend familiars is because it is an rng based system and a lot of rng based systems in this game that you have no control over tend to burn you out more than others now this was just a video kind of laying out the numbers and giving my personal opinion opinion and thoughts like i said at the beginning this is a game so it doesn't really matter what you end up doing but just know that leveling is much more important currently than it ever has been especially with the legacy exp especially since new age coming up especially since the new symbols familiars will always be there and you can always go back i know it sounds stupid you can always go back and farm familiars way later on and if you think they should add familiars into grandis to fix this issue let me know down in the comments below anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace